Here are multiple choice questions on vector applications. We'll try to understand how to do vector addition with the help of these questions. Question number three. A hummingbird flies 50 meters from its nest to a feeder which is on the bearing of 120 degrees. From the feeder it flies to another feeder in the neighborhood which is 30 meters away on a bearing of 170 degrees. Find the displacement of the hummingbird from its nest. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, try it out and then check with my solution. Well, let's try to represent the situation on a Cartesian plane. So when we are given bearing angles, we are given angle from the north, right? So let's sketch. A hummingbird flies 50 meters from its nest to a feeder which is on a bearing of 120 degrees. 120 is 90 plus 30, right? So it is like 90 and then one third. That is 120 degrees, right? So this is bearing of 120 degrees. And let us draw 5, 50 meters as this length. Let's say that is representing 50 meters from origin. Now at this stage, from the feeder, it flies to another feeder in the neighborhood, which is 30 meter away. So now here, again, it's better to draw the Cartesian plane, right? 30 meters away on a bearing of 170 degrees. Now 170 degrees is 10 less than 180, right? So that means from here, it is kind of almost 180, right? And a bit smaller line, let's say this one. So that becomes 30 for us. So we have two sides of a triangle. We say one is 50 meters, the other one is 30 meters. And the result then is the displacement, right? We need to find the displacement of the hummingbird from its nest. So we have assumed that the nest is at the origin, right? So from the nest, let's connect the final point. So which will be kind of like this. So that length is the displacement and let me call this as r for the time being. Now we know two sides and actually we know the angle in between also but it's a matter of doing some math here and calculating this angle. Now once we know that it is 120 degrees bearing that means 90 plus 30 so this angle is 30 for us. So with the vertical we have 30 so with the horizontal this will be 30 for us, correct? So we have 30 here. Now, it's too small, so what I will do here is kind of make a bigger one. So let's make a bigger angle. That is the one. And then we have this one. And then the resultant. So I'm trying to get similar inks. Okay, fine. So this is mainly for calculating the angle in between. Okay, let's try to understand that one. That's the trickiest part here. So these are the coordinates, right? So let me do it. So it is 120 means 90 plus 30. So this, and now we have alternate angles as 30, right? So this, let's say these two are parallel lines, the horizontal lines, and that's the transverse line, so that angle is 30 for us. This is 90. And then, since this was 170 degrees, that means 10 less. So this is 10 degrees. Is that okay? 10 degrees. So the angle in between will be 30 plus 90 plus 10. Do you see that? So we can say that angle, let's name OPQ. So the angle OPQ is equals to 30 plus 90 plus 10. That is the angle, right? So which is 130 degrees, correct? Now we know two sides and the angle in between, so we can always find OQ. So OQ square using cosine law will be equals to 50 square plus 30 square 
minus 2 times 50 times 30 times cos of 130 degrees. Correct? So that is OQ square. So let's calculate using the calculator. 50 square plus 30 square minus 2 times 50 times 30 times cosine of 130 gives us 53.28 and we need to do square root of that, right? So OQ equals to square root of 53.28.36 is equals to 72.99. So we have option B as our solution, right? 73 meters. So that is how we can solve this question. So basically, if you see, if it is critical to find the angles in between. So understand what a bearing angle is. Bearing angle is always from the north. So try to write clearly or make a bigger diagram to get these angles. And once you have the angles and two sides, you can always find the third side using trigonometric laws. Cosine law in this case, since you know two sides and the included angle. I hope that helps. Well, you can subscribe to my videos and share them with your friends to know more or to do more practice problems similar to this. Thank you and all the best.